Hey, what's up? It's Brianna. So today we're going to be going in with the Gimme Sugar palette from the brand new ColourPop Ice Cream Bites collection. And if you'd like to see any of the other looks I have done using this collection, I'll have them all linked in the description box down below for you. But today we're going to be going in with the purple one. And I will say we're going to be doing things a little bit different today. I want to do a different technique, so that is why I have my complexion products on. And also, if I'm looking a little bit different and a little bit rough, I'm trying out some new things today. So... Just take that in consideration. I haven't set my face or applied much concealer, so if it's looking a little bit funky, that is why. I just know I look really bronzed and glowy right now, and I'm not too sure how I like it, so we're just gonna wait and see. But the first thing that I'm going to do is prime my eyes using my Anastasia Eye Primer, and I'm just going to take a tiny bit on the back of my hand, and I'm just going to apply it using this concealer brush from the ColourPop Stone Cold Fox collection. And this one's called a E24. So over on TikTok, there's a massive trend where you do the reverse cat eye, and I did it the other day, and I just loved how it turned out, so I want to do it with this palette. And the first thing that I'm going to be doing is the lower lash line, and I'm going to go in with this creme gel liner pencil from ColourPop in the shade Charmer. And it's kind of like a smoky, kind of like burgundy purple kind of shade. But what I'm going to do is run it as close as I can to where my lashes grow out. Not in my waterline, right underneath of that. I'm just kind of like making a line. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect right now because we are going to smoke it out. I just want to get the color down. And also, don't wing it out yet either. I'm just going to warn you, it's going to look really rough right away. But the first thing I'm going to do is go in with a little angled brush. And this one's from Anastasia. It's technically for brows, but I really like it for a wing liner even. And this is a 7B. So what I'm going to do is take the liner brush, and as you can see, the tallest tip is going to be on the corner of my eye right here. I'm just going to follow my natural waterline up and create a little bit of a flick. You could also take some of the liner on the brush too and do it this way, but I just use whatever I got. Ooh, I am getting warm. It is like really hot outside today, but I'm just going to take this little shader brush with nothing on it and start smoking down the liner. And I recommend doing one eye first and then do the other eye. It's going to be a lot easier, especially since the liner will dry down. But I'm first going to smoke down the portion underneath of the eye right here. And I am bringing it down fairly far. You don't have to bring it down as far as I'm going to. And also, I have not set my concealer. That is the key with this, too. You don't want to have powder underneath of your eyes. And then I'm just going to take whatever's left of my brush and follow right underneath of that line that we made. I'm actually going to go in with a little bit more of the pencil liner. I'm going to re-smoke it out. I feel like I was just kind of like mixing in with my concealer and looking a little bit lighter than I wanted. Now I'm going to warn you, this is definitely a trust process kind of look, like it's going to look really rough in the beginning and you're going to be like, girl, this looks terrible. And then at the end you'll be like, oh, okay, I see what you mean by this. So now that we have the liner done, now we're going to set it in place and what I'm going to do is go in with the darker purple shade in the palette and I'm just going to be taking it on this tiny little shader brush from ColourPop. This is an E29. And what I'm going to do is set the liner, so I'm like pressing it into the liner, the shade. And then afterwards, I'm just going to do these little back and forth motions. I'm going to go in with a little bit more on my brush. But dang, like this shade has a lot of pigment. The very like brighter yet smoky kind of purple, if that makes sense. Like it's not like a neon purple. But it just, it has like this vibrancy to it that's really fun. And to smoke it down even further, I'm just going to go in with the other matte in here, and this one's called Sour Candy. And I'm just going to be taking this shade on a small little blending brush, and this is a Luxie 231. And I'm just going to run it right on that edge. Again, you don't have to bring it down as far as I am. The reason I'm bringing it down farther is because we're going to do something really kind of like popping in the crease. I just want to make sure we have a lot of balance going on. I'm just going to go in a little bit more, and this one seems to be a little bit on the buildable side. We will find out how it actually is when we start using it in the crease. But so far for purples, like these are not chunky or funky, they're acting really nice. I know this look is looking really bottom heavy and you're probably like, girl, that looks horrid. I know, I, I understand. But now we're going to start working on the crease, and I'm first just going to go in again with that lightest matte called Sour Candy. 
I just feel like you get so much product with this palette. Like, compared to their other palettes, I mean, like, the pans are really large and they're very, very deep. That's what she said, but I'm just going to be taking it on a brush from Morphe. This is an M433. It's just like a pinch little blending brush. And I'm just going to be popping it in my crease. I'm first going to start in the middle of my eye. And then kind of like work it around. Just to get like the initial like color down because I don't want it... I want this little edge right here to be a little bit softer. Kind of playing around today with something different. Because I did this look with grays over on TikTok and I really liked it. But I felt like it was just too bottom heavy. So that's kind of why I want to marry the top with it. Because that was my biggest complaint about the look. Is that it just felt like the bottom was just so dark. And I just want to compliment it this time around. I'm just going to go into a little bit more. And this shade does seem to have a little bit more of a buildable formula to it. Again, it has a good amount of pigmentation right away. But I'd say you need about two-ish layers if you want to look like it does in the pan. And now to deepen up the crease, I'm just going to go in with the darker purple in the palette. And I'm just going to be taking it on a small little blending brush, again from ColourPop. This is an E27. Again, I'm going to start in the center of my eye and then work the color around. Again, I'm popping it in the crease. But I just want most of the color, like the darkest part of the eye, to be right here in the middle. Just so I have a little bit more control to feather out the edges. I'm just going to go in with a little bit more on my brush. Oh yeah, this purple is definitely a little bit more on the buildable side. If you do the method like I am, where you start with the lighter colors and then work your way to the deeper ones. Packed down though, it is very, very pigmented. Like I fell below underneath my eye, I didn't have to build it up. Whereas on the top right here, I feel like I have to do about two-ish layers. I am going to go in with a third though. Just to see what's up. Oh yeah, actually, scratch that. You want to do three layers. If you want it to look like it does in the pan. But again, it's not giving me any harsh lines. It's not looking chunky or weird. It's actually very easy to work with. And I'm also kind of like winging out the edge a little bit too. So now I'm just going to cut the crease to get it like extra defined here on the top. And what I'm going to do is take a little bit more of that Anastasia eye primer. I'm just taking it on this Sigma E11 brush. And what I'm doing is just going slightly above my natural crease. And following the shape of it. And then for this outer edge, I'm just going to go right underneath of the bone. You can feel it with your finger and winging it out. You can see I'm kind of creating like this little like winged shape right here with like a little bit of a gap. So now I'm just going to take a little bit more on my brush and fill in everything underneath of that line and like tap it out. So to set this puppy in place, I'm just going to go in with the darker pink shimmer. Honestly, you could go in with the lighter one, but I want to try and use all four shades in the palette today. So I'm just going to go in with this one instead because otherwise I don't know where I would place it. And also I don't want to do a halo style with the shimmers today. And also this shade is called Blackberry Bliss. But I normally would do like a halo style with this kind of eye look. But since this is so dramatic already, I don't want to take away from it because I think it looks really cool. But I'm just going to be taking this shimmer dry on this little shader brush. And literally I'm packing it anywhere that that base is showing. Honestly, this is applying a lot lighter than I thought it was going to. Like I thought it was going to be like a mid-tone, kind of like mauve kind of pink. But this one is applying a little bit lighter, which I'm actually very happy for because I didn't want it to look similar to the purples. So I still want the like inner portion to look very defined. And shimmer wise, I would say that this one's more of like a wet metallic kind. It's not like that super like sparkly glittery kind. Very wearable. It still has a really pretty sheen to it. Since this brush has a little bit of a point to it, I'm going to kind of like use the point to fill in this little triangle wing situation. See, this is why I do my eyes first. You see the fallout that I have underneath of my eyes? What I'm going to do is just go in with a clean brush and wipe it away. And if all else fails since it's pink, I'll just apply more blush. <laughs> if it, you know, gives me a little bit of a situation. It's just so much easier to do your eyes first. Like, I cannot recommend doing your eyes first enough. Like, it is such a time saver. It's just so much easier. 
But since we did the winged out little liner, I wanted to make sure we got like the perfect blend with it, so I did my complexion products first. One thing I'm noticing about this shimmer though, the more layers that you do with it, the more sparkly it gets. Again, I'm applying it just right, like my brush is not dampened in the slightest. And you can see it just keeps on getting like more sparkly, which honestly I'm kind of vibing with. And then lastly for the inner corner highlight, I'm just going to go in the lightest shimmer in this palette and this one's called Whipped Cream. It's actually a really cute name, but I'm just going to be taking it on this little kind of like pencil brush from ColourPop and this is an E28. I have a kitty on my lap and she doesn't want to move. But ooh, ooh, that is really pretty. It's kind of like a pink champagne. It's almost like just a little bit of a lavender hue to it. Very, very pretty. I think this look turned out really fun. Honestly, I just wanted to play around and do something different and I also wanted an excuse to do this reverse cat eye here on YouTube because I loved it so much over on TikTok that I just had to do it again. And I think it just turned out really fun. And I will say like overall, I think this is a really nice palette. Like if you like the color purple, you are gonna love this one. And if you're looking for like a mini purple palette or if you're something that doesn't wear a lot of color but you want a purple palette, this one's gonna be perfect for you. But formula wise, the mattes in here are very easy to use and also beginner friendly. And what I like about them too is that they do have a buildable formula. So if you want to do softer, more natural looks, you can definitely do that with this one or you can build it up and do crazy things like what I have going on. And that's one thing I really enjoy about a buildable formula is not only is it so much easier to work with and blend out, especially if you are new to makeup, but it also gives you a little bit more versatility with the formula itself and you can do a lot more with it because of it. As for the shimmers in this palette, they're more of like that wearable wet sheen kind of vibe. They're not like super crazy glittery or extra. They just have like this really pretty like wet kind of vibe. I don't know, I think it looks really nice on the eye. I will warn you though, this pink shimmer shade right here, now this one kind of crumbles a little bit and also does give some fallout. So you'll definitely want to do your eyes before your face if you decide to use that shade because I actually had to go in with more blush to kind of like counteract the fallout since I did do my face products first. So I'm gonna warn you, it's definitely a lot easier to correct if you do your eyes first. And if you're not new to my Ice Cream Bites collection series, you know my biggest gripe with this palette as well as the other palettes in this collection is that it does not scream ice cream with the packaging. Like it just looks like a normal little quad from them. It has like little stars with the ColourPop logo. And on the back, it's just a pale color with the text of the shades. And I just wish it had like an ice cream kind of vibe to it like the outer casing does. Because let's be honest, most people are going to throw this and I don't know, I just wish I had like some sprinkles or something on it that just screamed ice cream. But yeah, so in the comments down below, let me know what you think about this look and also let me know what you think about this collection so far. But as always though, if you haven't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and also give this video a like. And if you'd like to check me out over on Instagram or TikTok, it's at Brianna Faye as well. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!